Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and today we'll be looking at the amortization schedules. Uh, as in our previous session, we have seen the basic setups that are required for the purpose of uh, expense amortization. Today, we will be uh, looking at how the schedules are being created and how it can be used for the further processing of uh, expense amortization. So, when the amortization feature has been uh, set up into the NetSuite application, we can create multiple templates. Uh, that are used to define the expense deferral terms and these are used to generate amortization schedule first like first we have to uh, create the amortization templates then uh, we can associate those uh, templates onto the uh, schedules and these are used to generate the amortization schedules that determine how cost and expenses should be posted and we can also select a default uh, uh, amortization template for an item on its item record we can also associate it with an item on the transaction line and transaction expense line also today we'll uh, see the expense one only so the source document uh, on which we can apply the amortization schedules are the vendor bills and bill credits so these are all the source documents on which we can use the amortization schedule so a uh, schedules uh, these amortization schedules are generated for purchase transaction and each schedule indicates the posting period in which the expenses should be recognized and the amounts to be recognized in each period as well Along with that, these schedules also provide a basis for the generation of uh, journal uh, entries into the application, you know, that is required uh, for the uh, processing or for actual amortization of expenses. The amortization schedule is not a transaction and does not post to the jail. It only details the expense amounts that are there. So moving on to the application, uh, first as I have told just now that uh, first we have to create a, create an amortization template. So for that we will go into list accounting. Here we have the option of amort amortization templates. So this is the one that I have uh, created. You can see that we have to provide a name for it. Under the type, uh, we have to uh, select uh, the type. Uh, usually, two uh, uh, options are given for it standard and variable. Standard can be used for the normal uh, expense amortization, while uh, variable uh, can be used for the percent complete recognition. So, uh, as we are concerned with the expense only, so I am taking the standard one. Methods, uh, what kind of methods can be used? There are various, these are the various methods that are there. So straight line by even period method would be used for the purpose of amortization. This uh, term source is about, it controls how the amortization period is determined. So here we have two options that is transaction date and receipt date that will be for the receiving of the item. But here we will take the transaction date. Then comes the deferral account. So this account is selected uh, for the purpose like where the amounts of those uh, deferred expenses are to be taken. So this is the account that uh, we have created in our previous session means this is the we have specified this particular deferral account for the purpose of amortization. Then uh, comes the contra account. This is usually used for the purpose of depreciation scheduling. Uh, we will not be taking this up. Then comes the uh, target account. So here uh, we have to select a default uh, in order to post the amortized expenses to the expense account that are specified on the bill or on the item record. Then comes the amortization period. Here we have to enter the number of periods over which the amount should be recognized. So 12 is selected here. We can select uh, if we are taking it for 2 years. So we can select 24 if we are taking here uh, 3 years. So we can select 36. So I have selected a year only. So that is why the number that I have mentioned here is 12. This period offset here is uh, we have to specify the number of periods to postpone the start of amort amortization for the entire schedule. Similar thing we can also provide for the start offset. Then comes the residual. So here we have to enter an amount or the percentage uh, to remain in the deferral account that are not to be amortized. And uh, we can say that this uh, residual amount is the salvage value of a fixed asset. This, this is mainly uh, considered with the uh, salvage value of the fixed asset. Here we can define the initial amount that, will, that we will be recognizing in the initiate or the initial period. So we can define those amounts here. And after this, we'll click on save. That amortization uh, template uh, would be saved. So then uh, after amortization template, uh, 
is it is a uh, after saving it we'll go into the uh, bill we can apply it onto the vendor bill or bill credit so for this demo i have taken a bill uh, vendor bill so for that we'll go into transaction payables enter bills so this is the bill page uh, i have provided all the related information to it i have approved this uh, bill the posting period is here now below uh, down onto the line level here we have to uh, select the account so here i have to select that target account that i have uh, taken over there that is a 6390 that is for rent expenses we have to provide amount here then moving further we have to uh, specify the uh, schedule or the template that we have created that is for prepaid rent uh, charges here along with that we also have to mention the start amortization start date so that can be uh, today's date also and end date is also re required to be provided so i am mentioning here the 7th of december now i'll click on add it is approved now uh, we'll save it so here we can see that now our bill has been saved it is open it has all the information uh, relating to it now the amortization schedule has been generated uh, followed by the template that we have selected if we view it so here you can see as i have uh, this is the amortization schedule that have been uh, created from that template that uh, sorry that have been created from that bill and on that bill as we have defined the template so followed by that uh, these uh, accounts have been affected these are the targeted amounts and uh, as i have uh, selected the amortization start and end, end date so it has amortized all the expenses all that uh, 1200 amount across all the three periods that is 400 400 and 400 so in this manner the 1200 has been divided across all the three periods so we are done with the amortization schedule we have seen uh, but you can see under the journals we are uh, you know uh, still pending with our amortization process because the journal has not been created so for this purpose the next step towards the you know as we have seen in the revenue recognition also uh, we have to create a journal entry so here also we have to create certain journal entries for it so for that we'll go into transaction financials here you have the here we have the option of create amortization journal entries so you can see that this is the uh, journal entry page here this is the journal page here we have to select the posting period so i am taking this november you can see that for the month of november uh, the subsidiary and uh, journal entry date is populated here and here is the source transaction so we have to create these are the two ones uh, you know that is for november this is the uh, 400 amount uh, that we have uh, taken that has been distributed across this month of november so we'll create this uh, sorry i'll click on this uh, create journal entries so here you can see that the journal entry has been created uh, if i click on this that is 1455 so since uh, another entry has also been created for this particular month so this is the one that we have created just now that is for 400 here you can see that this 6390 this is the targeted account that have been debited and the amount that have been the amortization amount that have been posted to the deferral uh, expense account is the, well, this 1354 that has been credited here and we have to approve it so now is it is approved here so if we go back to the amortization schedule and we'll refresh it so you can see over here that uh, this is the number that we that have been generated previously the under the journals it was uh, shown as none now as we have created a journal entry so now and we, it is approved all as well so you can see that for 30th november this is the journal that have been created for 400 and the amortization uh, process uh, is being done and these amounts have been posted to the required gls
so we have seen the whole uh, process how can we amortize expenses and how can we uh, how can we use the amortization schedule onto the vendor bill it can be used on the onto the vendor credits also and at last we all we also have seen how the journal entries can be created so that the process could get completed so that's all about the topic in case of any doubts and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you